So I at first held off on seeing Don't Worry Darling due to the extremely low reviews and the somewhat absurd Jordan Peterson comparison to the primary antagonist played by Chris Pine, Frank, but still actually became somewhat curious due to the controversy with Olivia Wilde and went ahead and saw it. As a sort of psychological analysis of the projective mind of Olivia Wilde, it actually is a fascinating film. Drawn out, sloppy, and somewhat a copy of many other films, yes, but still fascinating in a psychological sense of the writers and the director. The film itself, of course, was aesthetically pleasing, with the idealized Epcot-esque utopian experimental community setting on the cusp of a sort of Tomorrowland, and the performance from Florence Pugh was good, as is always the case. And I personally don't think Harry Styles is that bad of an actor. I would have liked to see Shia LaBeouf though in something like this, so that's a letdown. But all that aside, most of the film just felt like Olivia Wilde attempting to own the patriarchy, but failing to do so. It's almost as if Chris Pine's entire character and dialogue was based on Olivia Wilde or other social justice type of writers hearing the title of Jordan Peterson's first very popular book, 12 Rules for life, an antidote to chaos. Agent of chaos. <laughs> Hearing the title of the book, they just associated any attempt at dealing with chaos of life as an oppressive thing. It's very clear if the writers and Olivia truly tried to base Chris Pine's character on Peterson, she hasn't read a single line of this so-called anti-chaos book or actually attempted to hear a single thing Peterson has ever said, especially given his following book was 12 More Rules Beyond Order, implying chaos isn't entirely a bad or destructive thing, and too much order can be just as imbalancing. But crude false dichotomy in order to make your so-called enemies look bad is the way of the virtue signaling pathologically narcissistic, spoiled to death millionaire celebrity. The over-the-top tyrannical patriarchal ramblings of Pine's character who prides himself on the so-called progress of keeping women doctors in a poor man's version of the Matrix. If you die in the Matrix, you die in real life. That's just a ripoff from the Matrix. Anyways, uh, this really is not an accurate representation of Peterson in reality. His daughter, Michaela... Her online presence and public career being an utterly obvious example of how absurd this association with the character actually is. I don't really get the point she was trying to convey with this film. It just felt like a shallow person using techniques from other films in order to present itself as some deep philosophical brilliant film. The life they were living in the idealized 1950s really didn't seem bad at all. The idiotic twist of Frank's wife suddenly stabbing him at the end and saying, It's my turn now, you stupid man, it really just reveals the superficial projection this film was built upon. It's really laughable and kind of mentally sick. And if the real world Harry Styles character in the film is such a Jordan Peterson fan loser incel as they presented him in the real world, how did he score a surgeon babe in the first place? And what exactly was the plane crash? Was that a projection of her own mind? Was that a glitch in the matrix trying to wake her up? Like, there's no explanation of really anything in this film. It all kind of just happens for reasons. The sheer irony of Olivia Wilde ending her relationship with Jason Sudeikis, who she had two kids with, and ending up with Harry Styles, the character in the film that was seen as an oppressive force keeping Alice in the relationship on his terms within this fictional reality, to me is the absolute height of irony and absolute sickening hypocrisy. Anyways, that's my thoughts on the film. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, comment your thoughts below, and bye. It's probably worth pointing out that she married a multimillionaire prince. And so, yeah. right, so she's the, she's the absolute epitome of female hypergamy.